Welcome to Airheads. Coming up, after his 68-yard shot on a rabbit last time, James Marchington is pushing the boundaries of range. We've got hot air, we've got air streaming, we have Terry Doe with his royal words of wisdom. First, George Digweed may be a champ with a shotgun, but can he shoot an incoming clay with an air gun? We're taking a break from filming the first show for his new online club, Club Digweed, which launches on the 1st of October 2014. No, it's not going to happen, is it? I can't even hit that bucket. One last one. How do you cock it? No. During an interview, Greenfield's head coach Sam McVitty pronounced that he rarely misses clays with an air rifle. Yeah, yeah. So George put his parazzi down and picked up the gauntlet together with a Wolfer LGU in 177. When you've got fat fingers, try and load something like this. Now this. And started firing lead into the air. George, do you want this is going to be a thing of beauty. Paul, I was only eight foot behind that one. Paul. Oh, no, actually, I saw that. Has that got holes through it? Paul. You stand behind it, you can see that pellet. Going slower than the last one. I was in front of that, definitely in front of that. I right, just have a look, right down my shoulder. Paul, oh, if I break this and you haven't got it on camera, I'm going to shoot you with the next pellet. Paul, oh. one more. You reckon that was behind? I know exactly the picture then. Paul, oh. of course I've got it right in the middle. Only you and I will ever know. Right, you must be able to see that on the white cloud. I'm shooting in the white cloud. Needless Paul. to say, it took quite a few attempts before Paul. this happened. But yeah, no, that's hopeless. I, I, I'm going to have one more go. Let me have a go. <laughs> it's got to happen. Well, hey! <laughs> How about that? Spot on as well. Smashed it big time. Could you hear it slap it? It went like that. Fantastic shot. Yeah, that's fa it's easy without the... the <laughs> Can I just tell everybody that this is 888th shot? <laughs> Four days we've been here, haven't eaten. <laughs> haven't eaten yet. <laughs> right. Finally. Here we go then. That was so close. You hit it and you thought I could feel that was going to work. That one I hit. It's As your you idea. Last time I do any filming with you. I would say that was very close. Oh, I can see that now. One more. There's only one thing to do, shoot it from here. That gives up, it wouldn't yeah. it? Do it. Well, let me just, I just want to try and cut one more. You know, you <laughs> see, see what a monster you've created? Wished I'd never said anything. Can I just say now, only goes to prove that although I didn't hit anything, his was a fluke. Okay, a pure, unadulterated fluke. Four days we've been here. Four days we've been here. In fact, I can't lift my arms up anymore. And he's just missed it again. Four days. In fact, that's his mum ringing to say he's late for tea on the fifth day. Can't, I'm sorry, I can't, we can't do this any longer. It's oh, one nil to me. Let's not talk about the score. <laughs> it's one nil to me, yeah. Yeah, do, do you want a word with George? I'm a hundred straight at the moment. Do you want a word with George? No, we don't want a word. <laughs> no, he doesn't want to speak to you, Dad. He's, he doesn't want to know, no, no, he's, 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 he's had a he's off that I've beaten him. Yeah, one nil to me. We, we've only fired a hundred pellets each, and it's one nil to me. <laughs> yeah, no, it's hopelessly difficult. Sam again. strikes lucky again. For more information about Club Digweed, the offers and the tuition and training tips available to members, please visit georgedigweed.com. And for more information about the Greenfields Shooting Ground and the Canterbury Air Gun Club, go to greenfieldsshooting.co.uk. After me shooting this air rifle for a long period of time, I now know how James Brighton feels. Thank you, George, and well done, Sam. Let us know if you've had success hitting a clay pigeon with an air gun pellet. Now for a man who couldn't hit a serving dish with a banjo, it's David with hot air. This is hot air. 
Three air gun companies launched new rifles at the Midland Game Fair 2014. BSA launched its new PCP, the Gold Star SE. Based on Roger Late's competition gun, it has a fully adjustable stock, new regulator and BSA's sixth generation of multi-shot magazines. The recommended retail price is £899. Plus, following the success of Daystate's squirrelling model, the Red Ranger, comes the Forester. Based on Daystate's Wolverine C-Type and the Huntsman Forester, the Wolverine Forester is a limited edition rifle, designed in conjunction with Tom Forrest, who works closely with Jerry Moss. Prices for the rifle start at £1,600. And Air Arms had its HFT 500 model on display. Portsmouth Gun Centre is selling one on the Gun Trader website for £925. Chinese shooters have set a new world record in the 10 meter air pistol at the Asian Games. The Chinese trio won gold with a combined tally of 1,253.8 points, a world record under new shooting regulations. The Queen's Swan Marker has asked for air guns to be licensed. It comes after a signet was shot and killed at Windsor. David Barber, who carries out the annual Swan Upping or population centres on the River Thames, wants tougher controls on the open sale of air guns. And finally, a red squirrel is being hailed as a wonder mum after it keeps producing young. Called Tortoiseshell, the seven-year-old native English red squirrel lives at a wildlife sanctuary in Norfolk. Her two new offspring bring the total size of her brood to 50. You are now up to date with Hot Air. Aiming for accuracy, targeting the truth. Thank you, David. Now keeping the long-range debate alive, it's James on the Isle of Skye with a rabbit. Last time I was hunting rabbits on the Isle of Skye, and I took one rabbit with a long headshot at 68 yards. That wasn't a one-off fluke. I've had quite a few long-range rabbits recently, most of them headshots and all cleanly killed. Here's one at 52 yards, which is longer than most people would recommend for an air rifle. I'm using just a regular 12 foot-pound 177 air gun. This is a BSA Scorpion SE, a pre-charged pneumatic. I've proved it has more than enough power at that range to produce a clean kill. The difficult part is to place the shot in exactly the right spot, in this case the rabbit's head. To do that, you need to shoot with real precision, not just bring up the gun and fire one off in the hope of getting lucky. I like to get a good low prone position so I'm nice and steady. Then I use a heavy bean bag under the forend for a really steady rest. This one's filled with dried rice. With my left hand, I make a fist under the toe of the stock to hold the gun rock steady. If I need more height, I can always slip something under my hand to raise it. I've set up overlooking this field that's popular with rabbits. Now I'm going to use my laser rangefinder to map out the distances to landmarks like this post and the edge of the rushes. I've already plotted this gun's trajectory and I've got all the info written on a piece of sniper tape stuck to the stock. So now, wherever a rabbit pops up, I know exactly how much holdover to allow. This one appeared at 62 yards, so I knew to use the fifth line down from the centre crosshairs. Now it's just a question of aiming and releasing the shot as carefully as possible. So long as there's no wind, that's all there is to it. Just careful rangefinding, knowing your trajectory and precision shooting. Using this method, I've had several rabbits at ranges from 50 to 70 yards. The longest was this one, out at 83 yards. It took a couple of hops and dropped dead just out of shot, hit through the neck. Of course, wind adds a whole new dimension. At these longer ranges, a bit of wind can drift your pellets several inches, easily enough to cause a miss. 
But that's a whole different story. I'll look at that another time. Next up, the palace reaches out to Air Gun World and Air Gunner editor in chief Terry Doe for sage advice. Terence Clearwater Revival. One of one's ancestors died of a surfeit of lampreys. Tell one, how many squirrels do you eat in a year? Well over a hundred. Squirrel to rabbit is partridge to pheasant. I prefer partridge to pheasant. I prefer squirrel to rabbit. Um, but there's a, there's a lot more mental pleasure with eating, eating a squirrel because um, we'll always have rabbits. Rabbits aren't actually displacing too much, but the grey squirrel is. And I've got a, a passion to preserve the red squirrel, to do some good, and to protect the trees and the rest of it. And man, do they taste good. They taste wonderful. There's a tail to every squirrel. From one man with a flat shooting pellet to what you lot have been up to on YouTube, it is Air Streaming. Chunch, over here, this is my weekly roundup of the best air gunning on YouTube. First up, Ted the Ed Gun, His Excellency, the Doge of Holdover, is on about foreigners again. His Extreme Bench Rest 2013 is a review of last year's event and preview of this year, where he voices his fear of not the British air gun contingent, but the Mexicans. The Fenland air gunner, Andrew Colby, sends in his film for air streaming. He is out after rabbits. Pellet Power is ratting with night vision using the Wolverine C Type in 2 2. R Arms is building adapters and stocks for a number of air pistols and air rifles. American Air Gun Hunter gives their custom Benjamin Marauder pistol makeover the once-over. A few reviews. Last week's Air Gun Show featured a look at the Crossman 2250XL. Pyramid Air in the US runs a series on YouTube called The Air Gun Reporter and episode 119 looks at the Umarex Fusion. Air Gun Gear Show is going all wild west with this review of the Sumatra 2500, a PCP that's at home in Dodge City. And finally, just for the record and because it deserves such a very wide audience, it is the 35th anniversary of the Daystate Huntsman this year. They commissioned an excellent film to mark the event from Field Sports Channel, whoever they are. Click on the links to watch the videos or you will find them in this film's description. If you would like to send in a video for air streaming, ping me the link charlie at fieldsportschannel.tv. There you have it. We are back in a couple of weeks. This has been Airheads. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.